Hi, this is Rob Wooten, and welcome to the Amatech Chandler Engineering How-To Series. Today we're going to work on the Model 5550, and we're going to rebuild a encoder. Okay, we'll start by opening the hood, unplugging the encoder, and simply removing it. Right, to repair the encoder, we're going to either use the 5550 Encoder Rebuild Kit, which is a part number 5550-0517, or the 5550 Repair kit, encoder repair kit, which is a 5550-0516 uh, part number. Uh, the tools you're going to need are a 50 thousandths uh, hex wrench, a small flat tip screwdriver, and a small cross point screwdriver. So for this repair, we're going to use the 5550-0516 repair kit. That includes one pivot, one long jewel bearing, and one short bearing. The only difference between that kit and the 5550-517 encoder kit as we also include the module and the encoder wheel itself. Yeah. So with the cross tip screwdriver we will remove one screw from the module. And open it up. Then remove the three screws to remove the top of the encoder. Remove the top of the encoder. And we can remove the encoder wheel. So we're going to remove the lower jewel bearing using a flat tip screwdriver underneath. Next, we'll remove the long jewel bearing from the top using the flat tip screwdriver. Next, we'll remove the pivot from the encoder wheel using the hex key. Unscrew that. Pull the magnet assembly off and there's an additional hex wrench or screw. Remove and push the cylinder out. So the assembly is going to be just the reverse. We'll start with the pivot pin. Place the pin in the encoder wheel. Center with your fingers as best you can. Tighten with the hex wrench, put the magnet assembly back on, and tighten it to the hub. I'll take the short jewel bearing and put it in the lower housing. Tighten the, uh, or adjust the screw until it just starts to come through. And you should be able to feel the surface just slightly protruding. Next, we'll add the long jewel bearing into the top. And we'll just get it started, a couple of turns, and leave it. And we'll place the encoder wheel back into the housing and it should pivot. Place the top 
back on and tighten the three screws that hold the top on. So next we need to tighten this top screw down until the encoder wheel starts to level out. And once it stops, turn it about a sixteenth of a turn backwards. And now the encoder wheel should be free to rotate. And we'll close the encoder module to make sure there's no grinding noise, which would be the encoder wheel touching the module. If that's the case, you have adjusted it correctly. Add the, the screw for the module. Now you can take the encoder, place it back on the instrument. Plug it in, and you are ready to run a new calibration. So if you have any questions regarding this repair or any other technical assistance, please contact our technical team or aftermarket team. Our information can be found below.